Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavendaire. Today I'm gonna to talk about confidence, how confidence is built, how it works, and how the more confidence you have, the more risks you're gonna take, and the more likely you're gonna be successful. So this is more of like a story time. I'm gonna tell a few short stories about my life just to give you examples of how confidence has been built in certain areas of my life and has not been built in other areas of my life and the results of that. So let me start with this poker metaphor I got from this guy named Todd Herman. So imagine a poker game. There's one player that has a huge stack of poker chips in front of him, and there's another player that has a small baby stack of poker chips. The person with the bigger stack of poker chips is more likely to take riskier bets because they have more chips to start with, and the riskier bets are usually the ones that will win more. Those poker chips represent a person's confidence. It represents all the small wins that have built up over time. So the person with more confidence, the person who has had more small wins in their life, that person's gonna be more willing to take big risks and thus win more. And the person with a small baby stack of confidence and a baby stack of wins is not gonna take those big risks. And I think so much of life is just confidence. So much of success is just having the confidence, believing in yourself that you can do something and you have to have that faith. Basically, the way that confidence is built is through small wins. The more small wins you have, they like stack on top of each other and build your confidence because it's like little steps of validation. So the more small wins, the more validations you have in your life, the more confident you're gonna be. If you have no small wins and you just don't even try, you just like, let it be, then your confidence is not gonna grow in that area if you're just stagnant. So let me just paint the picture. I'll give a lot of different examples from my life. So if I look back at who I was as a child, I was super shy, super like scared to do anything, pretty insecure, not like a naturally confident person. So I was very soft-spoken, very malleable when I was young and just kind of like floating there, like very passive. Even though now a lot of you see me as I am today, as the person behind Lavendaire, like I'm so much, like a thousand times more confident today than I was when I started. I'm naturally like just a kid that was like unsure of myself, very quiet, very like just not gonna stand up for myself type of person. So that's the starting point. That's where we're gonna start at, okay? Someone who's very insecure, very unsure of themselves on a very like weak foundation. Let's put it at that. Growing up, I've never been good at sports. So one of the most traumatizing memories I have of my childhood was I think when I was in fourth or fifth grade. And you know, you have to do sports as part of school and we were playing baseball. So, you know, me at the baseball bat, like, already naturally like I never hit the ball but there was this one time that I finally swung and I actually hit the ball like it wasn't a good hit but like I hit the ball and I stood there because I froze I didn't know what to do and then all the kids in the stands were like run run Eileen run and I was like okay 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 crap I ran so I ran to first base okay and that was it and then, I don't know if you guys know how the game baseball works, but I obviously didn't really understand the rules. I was at first base, and then the next kid is like up to bat. So all of a sudden, this boy in my class, I think he was like my crush, which made it hurt more, but this boy in my class was like teasing me. He's like, run, 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 like telling me to run while it just like wasn't supposed to be my turn to run. I didn't know, I just heard someone yell run because all the kids were yelling run earlier. So, so he was yelling run and all, some kids joined in and I was like, okay, okay, run, run, run. So I ran to second base and then the teacher like blew her whistle and she's like, what are you doing? And she like made me go back and she like got mad at me for cheating. And I was so hurt because I didn't know what I was doing and I'm like a goody goody. Like I never tried to break the rules on purpose and I just felt like I got in trouble and I looked stupid. All the kids were laughing at me because the teacher yelled at me, like laughing at me because I was running cluelessly. I didn't know what I was doing. Anyway, that was embarrassing and it was traumatizing because I think it's one of those memories that I go back to and I connect sports to that event and it makes me scared to try again in sports. 
that's not the only time I've been embarrassed in sports at school. Like there's been countless other times. Like I think that same year or the year after that, I was playing soccer. We had to like practice kicking the ball around the field and me being clumsy, instead of like kicking the ball, like here's the ball, my foot would go on top of the ball and like I would fall down because I just like, rolled off the ball how ridiculous right so i just remember being embarrassed and knowing that my peers were watching me and what made it worse is like after pe class this my friend was like i saw you had a little trouble there eileen and then just like you know what i mean it's just so embarrassing especially when you're young and all you want to do is either like not stand out and just blend into the crowd or i mean try to look cool but i don't know not make a scene not embarrass yourself so with a whole history of similar stories like that, me being embarrassed in relation to sports, like it just made me scared to try in sports. And so I never really tried. Every, anytime that we were required to like play a game or do anything competitive, I just wouldn't want to try. I think in my head, I associated like, if I try too hard, I might fall or I might make a fool of myself. I might look stupid. And so I was too scared to try that hard. And so I just kind of like, I just believed that I was not good at it and I left it at that. And that has followed me through for the rest of my life. Literally, like it held me back. I don't know what my potential could have been if I had actually tried in these things. So my confidence was never built in the world of sports because I never had those little victories. I think it's like my first experiences with sports as a child, I was shot down and I felt like, you know, someone was stepping on me and squashing me. And so my confidence just ended there and it just never was like built up again. So on the other hand, let me talk about how I had small wins and victories in another area of my life and how that built up my confidence over time. All right, so let's go back to where we started. Remember, I started out, I was a shy girl, just not so confident in myself just yet. So basically my whole life i have been into things like music i loved singing i loved dancing i played piano i took piano lessons since i was like a baby literally like a child i started really early so singing and dancing i would only do it to myself like close the door in my room in secret i never told any of my friends at school i think i mean my mom probably knew i liked to sing my brother was too young i don't think he even noticed but um, piano lessons. So I think I would say one of the first small wins that I had were piano. I was good at piano. So I just remember like there's a memory where I overheard my piano teacher talking to my mom and she said something like, yeah, Eileen's really talented. She's really talented at piano and I want to enter her in competitions. And just hearing that as a kid, it's kind of like, ding, that's a small win. That's like validation and so like obviously my confidence bumped up a little bit from that experience so boom i had a little bit confidence in piano and then i joined band when i was in fifth grade all the way through like the first couple years of high school so being good at the flutes like i was section leader i was chosen to play the piccolo things like that it's like ding ding like validation small win validation so obviously the more wins you have the more confident you are so since i was in band you know in band there's always like a color guard which is like the dance team of the band it's like a group of mostly girls who dance do the flags twirl rifles and stuff and I remember always always looking up to those girls always thinking they're so cool and deep down like I really like to dance too and I really wanted to try it out but I was so scared to I didn't know that I was cool enough or good enough so all throughout high school like I just watched those girls or those dance groups from a far and I just didn't have those small wins in it yet but I had small wins in music so that kept going so I was good at piano good at band and then when YouTube started in 2000 it was like 2007 where I when I discovered YouTube that was a time where I started to upload YouTube videos of myself singing and playing piano and I did it just because I was inspired by Marie Digby first of all she she was like it blew my mind how someone could just 
upload a video of themselves singing and it ended up on the radio. So I just did it. I uploaded videos and I did it in secret. Like I didn't tell any of my friends at school just because I didn't have the confidence yet to admit that this is something that I enjoy. So eventually one of my friends in band found one of my singing videos and she was like, Eileen, I saw your video on YouTube. I didn't know that you sang. And just hearing that she actually liked my singing, it was like ding, like another small win of validation. And then word spread to more friends in school. And obviously like people watch my videos. I never like boldly talked about it, but if people came to me and talked about it or asked me about it, I would be like shyly like, yeah, I do make videos. Like really, really shy. But I have to give like a lot of credit to that first YouTube channel that I started because it gave me so much confidence. If it weren't for putting up videos on the internet, I might never have showed people this passion. Like literally, it, it was I was that shy. So my senior year, my high school put on a production for Greece, and that was the time where I became obsessed with Wicked the musical, and I absolutely loved musicals. So obviously I garnered up the confidence that I had and auditioned for Greece. So even though I didn't get any lead roles, I was like a chorus member in Greece. That was like ding, literally that was like a small validation for me. Even going to the audition and singing and seeing the smiles on people's faces, people who have never heard me sing before, that was a small validation. So you can see like all these validations are like adding up, all these small wins. So after the production was over, they held a banquet for theater kids and people who were in the musical to I guess celebrate the end of the year. And I didn't even go to that banquet because I wasn't actually in theater. I wasn't, I didn't really talk to anyone in there. It, I just like came, I sang, I danced in the background and then I went home. Literally like that random girl. But the next day at school, someone came up to me and was like, hey, Eileen, did you know you won an award last night? Like you won this award. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I went to the theater place and I realized that they gave me this award. It says Roland High School Theater Department for Greece outstanding ensemble member and it just like blew my mind so ding there is another small win another little validation because i didn't know i was good at singing or dancing or, or performing and this was like just another one of those things that built my confidence. So the next year when I went to college, my freshman year at USC, I heard of auditions for another musical on campus. And because I had such a fun time doing this musical and I felt confident now as a performer on stage, I went to that audition and I sang and turns out I was casted as the lead of that musical. So it was called Unforgettable. And just being the lead of a show is a big deal. Like I've never had anything that big in my life. So that was another, another huge win. So through those experiences, I gained so much confidence as a singer and performer. But at the same time, remember I still wanted to be a dancer. But that same year, I went to like the audition, the, the part where you learn how to do the choreography for the dance team at school, but I chickened out. Like I was too scared and I just didn't show up at auditions. So that was like a womp womp. But the next year, my second year of college, I made myself do the auditions and then I made the hip hop team at USC. So boom, boom, another small win. And then throughout college, I was randomly posting on my music YouTube channel. And I think it was like my senior year where I made a cover of a Dash Berlin song that Dash Berlin actually reposted on his Facebook. So ding, that was another win because it was like, whoa, the actual artist recognized my music and he actually liked it, what the heck? And then I made a cover for like Nicky Romero and he tweeted that. So it was like ding, 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 all this like confidence built from small wins in music. And so that's how I had the confidence to pursue music when I graduated. I decided not to get a job. You guys know the story. I didn't get a job, pursued music, made an album. All of that confidence is thanks to all the small wins that I've had in my life. Back to the very beginning point of that piano teacher believing in me. Literally, like that's where it probably started. No, it probably started with my mom and dad who made me go to 
take piano lessons. That's where all this confidence in music and performing probably started. But let's move on. So I pursued my music career, but I also had the confidence as a performer to pursue acting. And I also got a job as a spokesperson and producing videos for a food festival. And I got that confidence because I've been doing YouTube for so many years for fun through my music. So after a few years of performing and also producing videos for work, I had enough confidence to start another channel, which is my current channel, Lavendaire, because I already had so much like background knowledge on how to make videos, how to shoot, how to edit, how to do audio, how to edit audio because I learned how to produce music and stuff. So boom, 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 all of these experiences, all of these small wins and confidence has just built up one after the other and even as I I started Lavender in the beginning, you know, no one was watching. I was unsure that it was even interesting. I was like, I can't find anyone else my age talking about personal growth on YouTube. Maybe no one wants to watch it. Maybe that's why no one's making these videos. But I had this like inkling within that I'm like, you know what? No, like, I think it's only gonna grow. I think there's gonna only be more and more people who are gonna be aware of this stuff. So I believed in myself and I kept it going. I was consistent and, you know, hitting like my first thousand subscribers, first 5,000, 10,000, all of those are like small wins and little victories that have really contributed to my confidence. And now I feel like I'm so confident as a person. I've grown so much thanks to all of these little experiences within the realm of performing music creating all of that stuff but don't forget about like the sports and active side of me that's the confidence has not been built up literally it's like this like I'm like up at the stars in my confidence as a performer and all of that stuff but down here like I don't believe in myself playing basketball you know but Who's to say I couldn't have been good at it if I started early and had those small wins in that area, you know? So think about your life. Think about the small wins you've had in your life that have built up whatever confidence you have in your life. And if you feel like you're not very confident at all, then maybe it's because you didn't get a chance to build up those small wins. Maybe like me in sports, you were squashed. You had some negative experiences back then that made you not want to try anymore. Honestly, all of these wins come from trying. It comes from putting effort. And even if like the first time you try, you might fail. Like when I first auditioned, almost audition like I chickened out I didn't do it but I had to come back a second time and make that win happen so basically what I'm saying is your story is not over yet your story is yet to be written it's up to you to make those efforts to make those small wins and just know that the more you try the more effort you put in the more you practice at something the better you're gonna get at it and the more confident you're gonna be in your ability to do that thing because you've done it so consistently, you've put in the time, you've put in the effort. So confidence comes from effort, it comes from trying, okay? So keep trying, keep practicing because the more you do that, the more confidence you're gonna build in yourself and the more confidence you have, the more risks you're gonna be willing to take and we all know the more risks you're willing to take, the more results you're gonna get in return, the more success you're gonna find in your life. So honestly, this is advice I would give to everyone at any stage of their life. Build your confidence by making those small wins. If you fail at something, don't let yourself feel defeated and stop trying. Not trying is like the worst thing you can do because when you stop trying, like that's it, you've stopped, you're not making progress. So if you wanna make progress at something, you actually have to put in the effort, you have to try, and once you like just see a little bit of progress, you're gonna believe in yourself more. And honestly, the number one thing about success is you have to believe in yourself. Confidence comes from believing in yourself. It's all like one big thing. It's all interconnected. So I hope that my story can shine some light on your life and your story. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you can relate to my story and just find those areas of your life that you can build confidence in. All right, have a beautiful day. I love you all so, so much. See you next time. Bye.